Man, I'm walking different, talking different. Love one, see the difference. I'm untalkative and distant. I guess I'm seeing true colors. Stealing this for suckers. The port the Jerry Hellers and the Busters. Salute the good fellas and the hustlers. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's Wednesday, so you know we're back. And listen, it's Woman Crush Wednesday, so we got to talk about uh, Delta from Australia, I think you said? Yes, she's Australian. So she's from way down under, you know, with the Bobby and all that. And she, according to what we know, is signed with WWE NXT, right? That is, I don't think they've released an, uh, an official statement, but all of the dirt sheets are reporting that it is official. Okay. And uh, at this point, we know they got Stephanie, what, how do you say her last name? Vakor, Vakor? Yeah, Vakor. Okay, so they got her, and they got that whole list of everyone, Roxanne Perez, So Ruka. I mean, it's just so many incredibly talented women that's on that roster. Lola Vice, Muffin's favorite. And um, also the other rumor that is, is that Julia's going into um, NXT WWE. So now if you're getting Delta, so you're getting the three best free agent females into NXT, which is already a stacked women's division. Um, talk to me about what, what are you excited for this and, and the women's division? Talk to me, brother. I think, uh, well, this is a great signing. I uh, are like, I'm not going to like, I'm going to out myself as like, I'm not as familiar with her work as other people, but I've heard the name. And basically I've heard in terms of, uh, women's wrestling free agents worldwide that it was julia who was allegedly signed like three uh, three months ago i think uh but she got injured like right after the signing plus Ooh. her commitments to uh marigold um stephanie vacour who was just signed and then delta was the next big name which obviously now the rumors are saying that she's been signed and so wwe is stepping up their women's wrestling game, which is exciting to see, like especially if all three of them are going to NXT, which that's again what the rumor mill is saying. And I know that Julia even got the uh, special chair at NXT uh, during one of their public live events or premium live events, excuse me. Uh, you know, so those of you not don't watch any NXT, like usually what one of the big events, like if they have a big signing, they like to like throw them in a special seat front row in the crowd, yeah. and they do their princess wave and. You know, Drew McIntyre got that. I think Bobby Roode got it. You know, you know, a bunch of folks have got it. And now Julia. Um, but yeah, back to the point. Like they're they are stacking the women's division, and especially in NXT. Like, and I, I will argue that NXT is probably like the best women's division of any company that does that isn't just for women's wrestling. Oh yeah, like, a, NXT bothers to do like more than one women's storyline they without necessarily a hot free agent or like a big old face of the division kind of thing like they run multiple storylines involving women uh the the in-ring talent the matches themselves are amazing uh you know and i i don't know like what else i could say more to really like praise how the division is going except now that it's freaking insane because they got like they just signed three of the best women's wrestlers in the world like it, it, it's kind of like what we were talking about. I think it was last week or the week before, where we were saying that every match has the ability to be a main event quality match out of any female they throw versus each other. So at this point, we sit back, we go, "All right." I, I not, not to be biased, unbiased. I think the NXT Women's Division, like you said, I think it's better than the main card Women's Division. I'm just gonna say that that's how I feel. But at, this, at some point, we got to sit back and go, you know what? Somebody has to make that leap of faith and make an all, like, I don't care if it's Thursday, Friday, you know, Wednesday, Tuesday, however they want to do it, make an all women's show because their card is so stacked that these women deserve way more time than they're going to get. So I think it's about time WWE, who has 6 million shows, 6 million partnerships with, you know, they're on every network in the world. Um, Give us a women's show. That's all I want is just give us a women's show. Yeah. And uh, the fans have been calling for that for years, especially once the WWE Network became a thing. And I know yeah. the network is a little bit cloudy now with it being on Peacock. So it's not entirely its own kind of thing anymore. And that I'm very curious. Uh, like, I'm not sure what's going on with it. Like once it moves, once they moved to Netflix, 
next year. Uh, but I know definitely in the early days of the network when they were just putting out content to see kind of like what stuck, like yeah. there was a big call for women's wrestling because during the women's revolution uh, <laughs> buzz buzz phrase, you know, they, they were like signing a lot of talented women and that a lot of their own homegrown women were really starting to fill some good roles as well. And then they, I mean, for Christ's sakes, they, they, they dropped two different uh, tournaments that were all women signed the yeah. best of the world off that. And then of course they also had the, uh, they, they had their evolution. I believe the pay-per-view was called. Yeah. as well so like they even threw out like all women's wrestling pay-per-view that got rave reviews as well so like i i it's there there is a lot of there there's a lot of wrestlers right now and not a lot of tv time and that's the only downside i see of the continuous big you know big free agent signing is that they are going to take the place of someone else and not not that i'm going to say like oh that can't happen or that's that's <laughs> terrible like god forbid you know we don't have you know we don't have this person on but on the flip side like again you can only fit so many people in you can only do so much within one hour or two hours without some sort of expansion or god forbid a contraction of some sort aka a release or the choice to not resign someone when their contract is up no, no, and I agree. Now, WWE doesn't do anything on Wednesdays, right? I don't believe so. If it is, it's main event, which I mean, no I one, joke. No one watches it. Yeah, no one watches that shit anyway. So, would you be opposed if they actually bring back because they do have the rights to WCW and kind of cliche it? Like, now I'm not saying they got to call it Women's Crush Wednesday, but they could call it like Women's Championship Wrestling and use the WCW brand just for that. I think that's a wee bit on the corny side and like, and to be frank, like I am a huge, like I am very much anti even like bringing back uh, imagery and initials of some okay. of those long dead promotions. Like every now and again, someone, something pops up and we're like, let's bring WCW back. And I'm like, remember what happened last time the WWE <laughs> tried to bring back a long dead promotion except like now we're getting to the point where like all those dead promotions like are 20 plus years and no one's and i get it like you know no one like okay you can kind of own a copyright on initials but like if the wwe throws out a wcw people aren't going to think about women's crush wednesday or women's combat wrestling or you know whatever new brand yeah. they're going to attach to it they're going to think world championship wrestling and then people are going to like instantly kind of poop on it because it's not wcw well i mean listen when i thought we're working on the fly i'm not oh, yeah, yeah. lie. you know we're working on the fly but no you asked the question thinking, and i hated like, it <laughs> yeah you know this was muffin's fucking topic and he wasn't even fucking here but um i wouldn't be opposed to a wcw comeback and a woman's nwo like I'm, I'm just saying, I'd be all right with it. Exactly. So listen, um, like, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Uh, Delta coming in, massive, massive signing. Uh, Julia, when well, she gets better. Uh, Stephanie Bacor, who had a match in Mexico, and we haven't seen her in the states yet, but it's going to be something incredible when we get all these women to be matched up. Like I said, we've watched the last two. Uh, lives uh, NXT has done. We've all enjoyed them. So listen, for my, I would say my team. No, nope, only me and Rob K, Mr. Urban Wrestling Network, MLW Confusion. I don't even know if I gave the plugs today. No, no, you. we just jumped right into things. All right, well, you get them now. So MLW Confusion, Urban Wrestling Network, we out of here. Deuces.